Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at my Takara Koro Q Rodimus Prime. And be sure to stick around right to the end of the video for a couple of YouTuber shoutouts. Hey folks, M here from Transformers and Video Games, and welcome back to the channel. As I mentioned earlier, today we're going to be taking a look at my Koro Q Rodimus Prime, also known as Rodimus Convoy. But before we get into the review, I just wanted to thank everyone for helping me reach 4,000 YouTube subscribers. When I started this channel back in 2018, I never imagined that I would have reached this milestone, but thanks to all your support, we did it. Just a friendly reminder that leaving a comment, a like, and sharing the videos really helps channels like mine get traction on the platform. And now on to the Koro Q Rodimus Prime review. And what better way to get started than by taking a look at the packaging. Now there's always one thing that I've always appreciated about Takara, and that's the fact that they always include really nice collector-friendly packaging with all their figures. Even a little figure like this one comes in a nice window box, which I think is very cool. Now the box itself is nothing special. There's a little bit of artwork on the top, the sides, and the front of the box. Flipping it around to the back here, you can see there is some lettering at the bottom, which I'm obviously not able to read. And then the upper portion of the box focuses on the transformation of the figure. Now the figure comes packaged in robot mode, but you can see if you look closely, there are actually four steps to take him into his very cool Space Winnebago alt mode. Now that we've taken a look at the outside of the packaging, why don't we crack this box open and take a look at Rodimus Prime in all his glory. Now you can see it opens up easily from the top. There's a couple of flaps on the side and Rodimus just lifts right out. Now, I gotta say that I'm very happy that Takara has included this nice clamshell with the figure. Not only does it protect it, but I just really prefer it over Hasbro style of packaging. They tend to fasten their figures right to the clamshell, which means you've gotta spend a bunch of extra time cutting the figure out of the packaging before you can display it on your shelf with the rest of your collection. Here we are with the figure in hand in robot mode. And if anybody's not familiar with Koro Q figures or Choro Q, I'm, I'm never quite sure how to pronounce that. You've really gotta be a fan of this style of figure to really wanna buy something like this. They're pretty much what they call super deformed figures, meaning that the proportions look way off in both modes, but they're meant to be kind of cute representations of the figure. Rodimus does come with this gun accessory, which can be pegged into either hand. Now, my only complaint about this figure in robot mode is that peach color that they used for his upper thighs and chest. I just think it would have looked better if they'd gone with a more traditional orange. Now we'll move along to articulation. Don't expect to be blown away here because this figure has about as much articulation as your average G1 figure, maybe even a little less. You'll see that both arms will rotate at the shoulder nearly a full 360 degrees, but there is a peg at the back there that does limit the arm from making a full rotation. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's move along to transformation. Now the first thing I'm gonna do here is unpeg the gun from his hand just so that it doesn't get in the way. Then you're gonna push the chest section up until it clicks in place, forming the front end of the vehicle. Take the arms and rotate them forward. Do that on both sides. Next, you're gonna fold the side panel of the vehicle downwards and then do the same thing on the other side, again, forming the side of the vehicle. And then the last step is to rotate the spoiler 180 degrees. And that's it for the transformation. Now we'll take a look at Ronimus Prime in his very cool Space Winnebago mode. And you can see what I was mentioning earlier about the proportions. They're not meant to be real world proportions. Again, this is meant to be an exaggerated, cute representation of Rodimus' alt mode. Even though the alt mode is simplified, I think we can all agree that Takara has ticked most of the boxes of what we would expect to see on a Rodimus Prime figure. For starters, he does have the flame decal on the side, albeit simplified, and you'll notice just to the left of that, he has three exhaust pipes. Now those exhaust pipes are painted in a silver paint. It would have been very cool to see those done in a nice vacuum metalized chrome, but I think that would have been expecting a little bit too much from a figure of this scale. 
Looking at the front of the vehicle, there's another simplified flame decal with an Autobot symbol in the center, and they've gone with a blue anime or cartoon accurate windshield at the front. This side of the vehicle is obviously the same as the first side that we looked at, and the back side you could see his big old feet hanging off there, but of course at this angle you wouldn't know that they're feet. On the top side, he does have this nice spoiler. And I got to say, I do like the shade of yellow that they've gone uh, with for the spoiler. I think it looks really good. Now looking at the underside of the vehicle, you can see that it is hollow just due to transformation. So no big deal there. Now you can very clearly see the upper thighs and lower portion of his legs or feet. But, you know, for the most part, I think they've done a good job at concealing the fact that it transforms into a robot. I mean, there's no um, visible head syndrome, which I think would be expected on a figure this size. Even though the figure's small, I'm happy to say that they have included rubber tires and chrome rims. Now, those are little details that we don't even get out of most Masterpiece figures nowadays, so it's very cool that they included that with this figure. Now, for anybody who wants to know what you're supposed to do with the gun when you've got it in vehicle mode, I'm going to show you right now. The gun will very easily peg into the center of the spoiler at the top of the vehicle to sort of give him this attack mode, I guess. I'm not going to say it looks fantastic, but again, it does give you some kind of storage for the gun, which is always nice. Another fun thing about this figure is this simple pullback and go motor mechanism that they've included. Now, I don't know if it's just my specimen, maybe the spring has weakened over the years, but I remember having cars back in the 80s with similar motor mechanisms, and the springs were a lot stronger, and the vehicles moved a lot faster. All right, guys, here we are with the figure back in robot mode, and I think I'm going to leave it at that for today. Now, in conclusion, would I recommend picking up a Q Rodimus Prime and adding it to your collection? Well, that quite honestly depends on you. If you're a fan of cute or super deformed representations of some of your favorite characters, then something like this might be fun to add to your collection. If you're not, then this is quite honestly an easy pass. I think these characters or these figures really do cater to a very niche market. Now, before we wrap this one up, I just want to give a quick shout out to the Transformers reviewers community. At the moment, this is a group of 21 Transformers-related YouTube channels that consists of the following. Adamantium Matrix, Bert the Stormtrooper Reviews, Crimson Raptors, Inu Tabby, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot, HNE Games, Casual Toy Collector, Kato's Collection, Larkin's Lair, Inputs Toy Reviews and Stop Motion, Ninja Bill Reviews, Patria Prime Reviews, Ronimus Primal, Sardo Noomspa 82, Soundwave 8084, TF Collector, TF Fan Page 101, TF Fan Geek, The Lazy Eyebrow, Trans Aaron 38, and Transformers and Video Games. I'm going to link the Transformers Reviewers channel in the description, which I encourage you to check out when you have a moment. Here you'll find a number of Transformers related playlists from many of the channels that I just mentioned and you can also go to the channel section of the page where you can see and subscribe to as many of them as you like. Thanks again for watching everyone. Take care.